Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a collaboration video for you. This is with The Rebel Reseller. Her channel is amazing. If you have not checked it out, oh my goodness, what are you waiting for? She is fantastic. So she sells tons and tons of plush. So I felt like it was appropriate that I do this challenge with her. Now, what we decided to do was purchase a $50 plush lot. That's $50 free shipping from Donatella Bottolino. Here is her YouTube channel. We are gonna each unbox it on our channel. And then after you watch mine, you're gonna go watch hers. And if you watch hers first, you're gonna watch mine second. But we want you guys to tell us who you think had the best box. Okay, this is a $50 free shipping plush lot from Donatella Bottolino. I am doing a challenge with Rebel, the Rebel reseller on YouTube. And we each bought a lot of plush from Donna. And we're gonna unbox it. And you guys are gonna tell us who you think had the better box or the better bag, we'll call it. So let me uh, just get this open here. And we're going to see what we have. Oh my goodness. What's going to be in here? It's a huge ball of plush. How exciting. All right, let's get it out. Let's see what we have. All right, I'll be back. I'm going to get rid of this bag. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Time reseller. $600 for a My Little Pony. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, I'm going to kind of scoot it over here so I can show you guys the plush. Um... So right here on top, we'll pull this out. We'll have to fluff them back up because they've been stuffed in a bag. Oh, it's so cute. It's a little bunny and it is gunned and it's a rabbit. They're calling it a rabbit. Um, I don't see a date or anything, but super cute and so soft. It's so soft. It's really darling. Okay. Let's see, we're gonna have to cut some more of this. Oh, what do we have here? We have, oh, I love these bunnies. I love bunnies. It's got a little defect right there. Not too bad, probably maybe where a tag was. With the little uh, jelly beans. Cute, cute, cute. It is made by Chosen, C-H-O-S-U-N International. Seems like they make a lot of these bunnies. I love the color. It is so cute. So, very, very cute. Let's see what else. Oh my goodness, look at this pig. You guys, she really is. She's an, oh, she's a bunny pig. Oh, she's got bunny ears. And it is by Dan D, Collector's Choice. And she needs just fluffed back up. But look at her. Isn't she cute? She's wearing bunny ears. So cute. Okay, let's keep going here. This is a big ball. Oh boy. Um, sorry guys, I don't wanna, I don't wanna cut anything. Fuzzy friends? Fuzzy friends. Okay, these seem really inexpensive. Um, let's see. Greenbrier. So these are a dollar store brand. So these are just something that were 
Greenbrier's dollar store. So the first item I want to talk about that I definitely think that maybe I should have put on Poshmark as um, just a cheap bundle, like $10 and somebody could have bundled it with something, are these dollar store plush. I don't know, there were probably between five and seven of them, new with tags, you're gonna see them here soon. I think I should have listed these. So, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And I have one chocolate scented. Oh, it does smell like chocolate. What's this one smell like? Hmm. So what I'll probably do is just put these in like a little lot. I I think they're going to be hard to sell. Um, I'm not even sure if Greenbrier is just so um, dollar store. So, I mean, you can get those at the dollar store for a dollar each. So is this another one? Since I have so many... That might help if I put them all together. See right there, that's a green briar. I would say if you find those in the wild, don't pick them up. Okay. We have another green briar. Uh, Peppa de la Mare, la Mare, Peppa de la Mare, I don't know. With sound. This is a Hallmark toy. Um, it is love, love, love at first sight. No, is it not? No, yes. So that's pretty cute. Come, darling. We must be grown up about this thing. Do not turn away from the love. Ah, my great bundle of sweetness. <laughs> Super cute there, right? Super cute. So it's a little skunk. All right. What else do we have in here? Um, uh, what is this? It looks like it's, um, Walgreens, but I'm pretty sure I've heard Rebel, the reseller who I'm doing this challenge with, say that Walgreens items can do well because they were only sold at Walgreens. So I'm guessing you shove this one into this one and it makes it full and then vice versa. So you can either, but right now it's like that. The other thing that I donated was this thing that you stuff within itself and I couldn't, if I remember correctly, I looked for comps and there were no solds. So I just decided to donate that. Again, this may have been a good item for Mercari and Poshmark. I did not look it up over there. So that was probably a bad choice of mine also. So we'll have to look that up. Um, I think I had one of these in my other plush lot. Yeah, tummy stuffers. This one's different, but I think you put stuff in them. I would say this is, you know, loved condition. Okay, so this was missing its tongue. That is why I decided to donate it. Otherwise, I would have listed it. Probably could have gotten eight to ten dollars plus shipping out of it. She probably just missed it. Seasons greetings, fabulous home, holiday character decor. Originally four dollars and ninety nine cents. So it's just a little reindeer. If it's discontinued, I, mm, it's coming apart right there, so. A little reindeer, and it just needed um, the scarf, like glued, which would have been an easy fix, and I donated it. We have an owl. Woo, woo. Uh, K&M International, Wild Republic, and... I guess that's an owl. 
<laughs> I guess that's a hoo hoo. Coca Cola Bear from 1993. Um, a lot of times, white plush will start to yellow like this. That is not uncommon for a vintage plush. Um, I'll look it up, see. I may be able to throw this in the washing machine. I'm not 100% sure. So I'll have to take the tag off if I do. So I may sell it as is, not sure. And the last thing was the Coca-Cola Polar Bear. Um, I didn't know how to clean it. It's one of those white plush and it, it just from age, they start to not look as white. So if anybody has any cleaning tips for stuff like that, please let me know. Or do you think I should have sold it as is? I see a TY tag, but this thing is huge. What on earth? Oh my, I have never seen a TY this big. Holy smokes, it's a gorilla. Big George. Originally $60, whoa. Um, I hear some beans. He's cute. I'm trying to find, 1989. Wow, I have no idea what he is worth. I mean, he may be good or he may be bad. So we'll, we'll see. He is cute though. Check him out. We have, um, darkest Peru to London, England, Paddington made in Indonesia, Indonesia. Please remove tag and save. Please look after this bear. Thank you. Now, Kids Gifts, Sears. So this is vintage. It does have some I, I, pilling or whatever you call it. I should be able to get all that off. But he's cute. Little Paddington. Never seen one in red and green. Wonder if that's like the Christmas version. All right, let's see. This looks really nappy. It's kind of a hot mess. Um, what is it? Is it a dog? There's an eyeball and an eyeball. What? Oh, Lone or wait, Lou Rankin Friends, Lou Rankin by Dakin. I don't know. That looks, I, I, I don't know if I can list that or not. Is it supposed to look like that? The hair? We'll look it up. We'll see. And it looks like I have another TY. Uh, this is Leo the Lion. 1996. Again, not as big as the gorilla, but I didn't I didn't know that big ones were common. I thought they were all mostly small. I do have a bear in my basement with a bunch of plush that I still need to list that's big. I've never looked it up. So I am curious to see what the TYs go for that are bigger. So that is the entire box. Again, I paid $50 free shipping. So we're gonna look through this and figure out what we're gonna donate, what we're gonna list, see how much money we're gonna make, and then after we're done here, I want you guys to go and check out the Rebel reseller and see what she got in her bag of goodies. All right, so the numbers, let me look over here. If I sold everything for the sale prices that were popped up in the video, that does not include shipping, I would sell everything for $252.15. Now, I will tell you, I do put best offer on all of my items. Um, give or take, sometimes I'll take up to 20 or 25% off. It really just depends on the type of day I'm having and how much I have into each item. So, um, let's say worst case scenario, I make $150 on this box. Again, I paid 50 bucks, free shipping for it. So, 
great deal. I think I'm going to make closer to probably $200 and I'm super excited about that. If you guys are in need of inventory, please go check out my friend Donatella Bottolino. Again, this is her YouTube channel. She sells to resellers and I have a ton of unboxings on this channel and my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel where I unbox items that I bought from Donatella Bottolino and auctions for you. So super fun videos. I do them the same way. I show you how I listed everything and what I expect to make. So that helps you guys learn, but you can also see what kind of deal I'm getting. All right, head over to the Rebel Resellers channel right now. I will link it down in the description. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for being here. If you're new here coming from Rebel's channel, please be sure to subscribe and everyone else. Thanks for watching.